Hello, what's going on? So, if you recognize from the old videos, we got a fucking microphone stand upgrade. So, this looks a bit wonky right now. It's like, ooh, up here. But yeah, mate, how are ya? Good to see you again in this video. And today is gonna, I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna share my today's experience with you. And this experience really taught me you need to fucking value your life because it hits you at times and then you you fucking forget it. You really need to know that your well-being is such a big thing that a lot of people do not fucking have, unfortunately. You know, I have an auntie who, she has an autoimmune disease, which basically like her body fucking eats herself, right? She's frail, skinny with bones, literally like 30 kilos or like even less. And it, it, when I fucking first saw her, I was like, good fucking God, man. I'm really grateful to be me in this spot, in this position with healthy hands, healthy muscle, healthy functioning body. Anyway, that's not exactly what this video is about. That's not about my auntie. But this video is going to be about the experience I had today at school with a wrestling match, which was a not a fight, obviously, because me and him, we wanted to do it. It was mainly out of my ego because he said, you're not as strong as I thought you were. And that pissed me off a lot. So I decided to, you know, pick a little fight with him. So anyway, we're wrestling. I'm a fairly powerful guy, so he was fucking bullshitting saying I'm not powerful, but I don't know how to wrestle. If you've seen my physique, I might pop up a photo here. I'm a pretty alright jacked kid, for my age at least. That's what the kids know me as, the jacked guy, or not, right? And uh, unfortunately, as the jacked guy, I'm not a wrestler. I, I do, I know how to do Muay Thai and fucking kickboxing and shit, but I'm not a wrestler. Anyway, so he we grab each other. I use brute force to absolutely slam him to the ground, but he gets on top of me. If we go like on, I flip him, and then I get on him, and then fuck, I get in a chokehold, right? And while I'm inside that chokehold, the choke isn't bad at first, but then it keeps getting worse. I can't breathe. But that's not the main issue, because I knew if I couldn't breathe, I would let go, tap out. But then... I realized my neck was snapping. I was on the floor like this. It still fucking hurts, tilting it. But anyway, I was on the floor like this, right? On the other side, actually. Getting slammed down, like, into the ground. And my neck just... Going like a... After that, I, I didn't tap out at all. So you can't really say I lost, but they just realized... That the situation was getting bad, so they got on, get off, got off me. Personally, out of my humbleness, I'm gonna say I lost. Even though the kid was a fat little fucking, I'm not gonna say his race because you know that's not that's not a good way to describe someone. Well, he was a fat little cunt, and it, it pissed me off that I lost to him a lot. But the fact that I was alive. Oh my fucking god, I'm so happy, man. Because I've, <laughs> it was a really traumatizing experience, not not like mentally, but physically. If it got pushed any harder, any fucking harder, I would have had my neck completely snapped. And this video today would not be here, and I would probably be a fucking vegetable. And one day you would see me in a fucking TED talk, right? Anyway, I don't want that experience happening to you. So takeaway number one, interpretation of this video. Don't get into unnecessary fights you do not have to get into. That's not to say don't spar with your mates. But I'm saying don't get into fights where you're literally trying to kill each other. Because that was both of our objectives. He felt really bad at the end, but that's besides the point. The objective was to hurt each other or at least one person tap out. And me, with my huge ego, would not fucking tap out. So, it, it wasn't really a good fucking fight. Anyway, b until you have the shot to not fight, don't fight. Train fighting. I, I advise you, and I'm going to make a video on it. Next video is going to be about training fighting. 
So you, this might be out the day you watch it or not. Anyway, don't get into unnecessary fights you genuinely have zero benefit from getting into. Like this fight today. I I literally would not have had anything to win because the kid was a dork, right? There was nothing to nothing for me to win, but a lot for him to win. Now he can go around saying that he defeated the big jacked kid, but in reality, I mean he did, obviously. I just didn't know how to wrestle. Number 2. Be really grateful and always take care of yourself, your body physically, mentally. That could be by going to the gym, obviously learning how to fight. So if you do get in a fighting scenario, you can escape. Now, imagine I knew how to fight or I knew how to wrestle. Sorry, I would have been at such an advantage point and I could have probably won. You know, yippee, I would have won, but I didn't. So definitely learn to fight, learn to wrestle. Learn to do everything. Be combat ready at all fucking times. And number three, uh, sorry, yeah, be combat ready. Last one was be grateful and always be grateful and take care of yourself as much as you can. And this one is going to be please learn how to fucking fight. I personally do daily sessions, minimum 40 minutes, spread out between either one or two training sessions. Today, I did mainly stretching because I went and threw a few kicks and oh my god, when the fucking torque of my kicks threw me back, it hurts, it hurts so bloody fucking much, man. And I just didn't see it as worth it. I'm gonna go train after this because my neck is feeling a bit better. But anyway, every man should learn how to fight and that's gonna be the next video. See you in the next one.